In the 15th century, the Spanish Empire under King Philip II was the major world power. The Queen of England, Elizabeth I, had been providing support for Dutch fighters in their war against Spain, and English ships had been attacking Spanish colonies and treasure ships across the world. Philip, who also wanted to convert Protestant England back to Catholicism, decided that the only solution was a conquest of England. He sent an armada of warships with instructions to pick up the Duke of Parma from the Netherlands with his army of 30,000 soldiers, and from there attempt an invasion of England. The Spanish, commanded by the Duke of Medina Sidonia, had around 130 ships with 18,000 soldiers and 7,000 sailors. They sailed in a crescent formation with the slower ships in the centre and the faster and stronger vessels on the wings. The English, under the command of Lord Howard, had access to about 200 ships spread across the English coast, with 14,000 sailors and just over 1,000 soldiers. The Armada was first sighted on the 19th of July sailing towards England. The English ships, moored in Plymouth, did not engage them, but waited for the Spanish to sail past. On July 21st, being in position behind the Armada with the wind in their favour, the English began firing at their opponents from long range. The Spanish had intended boarding the English ships and overpowering them with their numerous soldiers, and although the English tactics of firing from distance prevented this, they did not inflict much damage to the Armada. The first losses of this battle were suffered by the Spanish, when one of their ships exploded and another was damaged in a collision. The two sides would engage in battle again on the 23rd of July, when the English attacked to prevent a Spanish landing near the town of Weymouth. The same tactics were used as previously, with English ships firing from long range and Spanish ships not close enough to board. Despite a fierce battle between a number of ships just off Portland Bill, neither side suffered major losses, and the Armada kept sailing. On July 25th, the Armada was heading towards the Isle of Wight. As Medina Sidonia had still not heard from the Duke of Parma, he wanted to stop and anchor his fleet there. The English Navy had divided into four groups. With one group of English ships attacking the Spanish flank to prevent a landing, and another group attacking the outer flank. With the Spanish ships heading towards a dangerous sandbank, Medina Sidonia ordered the Armada to stop fighting and to sail to Calais in France. The English had now prevented the Spanish from landing on the south coast. The Armada was anchored just off Calais, waiting for the Duke of Parma and his soldiers. During the night of the 28th of July, the English attacked again using a group of fire ships. Although no Spanish ships were damaged, in panic, many cut their cables and rushed out to sea. The following morning, only Medina Sidonia and four other ships were still at Calais, and the English fleet, boosted by extra ships, began their attack. Firing from a closer range than previously, they caused severe damage to the Spanish ships. Despite the carnage being inflicted on them, Medina Sidonia and the four other ships kept fighting until other Spanish ships could regroup and provide assistance. Even with support, the Armada was no match for the speed of the English cannon, and many Spanish ships were severely damaged, with a few sinking and others running aground. After eight hours of fighting and ammunition low, the English pulled back. Strong winds were blowing the Spanish further from their intended destination and closer to dangerous sandbanks, but they managed to pull away and decided to return to Spain by sailing around the British Isles. The English followed them until they considered that the danger had passed, but the problems for the Spanish continued. Terrible storms and gales in the North Sea made the journey around the Scottish coast extremely dangerous, and many ships sank or just went missing. But the majority of Spanish losses occurred when their ships were driven onto the rocks of the Irish coast. Sometimes, although the crew survived the sinking, they were killed when they made land. The remains of the Armada returned to Spain in September 1588. At the end of the battle, the English had lost about 100 sailors, but no ships, whereas the Spanish had lost about 63 ships and 15,000 men. This was a victory for the English. 
The Spanish defeat allowed England to remain a Protestant country and many considered that victory was due to divine intervention. Elizabeth commissioned a medal in celebration with the imprinted words God blew and they were scattered.